everyone i am chaya devi working as assistant professor in department of ece anat sangivalaza now i'm explaining shannon fano encoding algorithm so before going to this topic we need to know what is the use of this particular topic so this is basically used in digital communication system so we know the digital communication system consists of information source source encoder channel encoder digital modulator channel digital demodulator channel decoder source decoder and destination so in this the basic the important role was played by source encoder which converts the analog information into digital information so here so here this is a source encoder where the input is analog information and then the output is digital bits so in order to convert the in analog information into digital information we are having multiple techniques like pulse code modulation differential pulse code modulation and then delta modulation so we know that for all these three techniques pulse code modulation differential pulse code modulation and delta modulation we are giving the input signal as analog signal and the output is digital bits so this will be these three methods will be used when we are having the input as continuous signal but for discrete memoryless channels we are going to use shannon fano encoding method as well as huffman coding methods in order to convert the messages into digital bits so let us say i was having some messages m1 m2 so on mk messages with the equivalent probabilities of so let us say for the message m1 the probability of getting that message is p1 for message m2 the probability of getting that message is p2 so on you are having k number of messages with their equivalent probabilities so when you wanted to code this particular messages into digital bits we are using this shannon fano encoding method as well as huffman encoding method so in this i am going to explain about shannon fano encoding methods where the messages which were given with their probabilities are convert how it was converted into digital bits using this particular shannon fano encoding method so now so here the season channel fano encoding algorithm i had taken eight number of messages with their probabilities so m1 with the probability of 16 by 32 and then m2 with the probability of 4 by 32 m3 by 4 by 32 m4 with the probability 2 by 32 m5 m6 with the probabilities 2 by 32 m7 m8 with the probabilities 1 by 32 so in order to code this data we'll be having five steps first step is we need to place the given messages in a descending order so here we had to check all the probabilities and we need to make that probability in, in such a way that the probability should be placed in the descending order that is the first step second step is we need to divide these probabilities into two halves that is upper half as well as lower half such that the sum of the probabilities in the upper part should be equal to the sum of probabilities in the lower part okay so that is the second step now coming to the third step we need to assign the number uh, probabilities with the value of zeros in the upper part and ones in the lower part that is step 3 and coming to step 4 we need to again assign the values if let us say if you are having two values with the number 0 then we need to again assign the values as zeros and one and then we'll had to continue this process until we have an unique code word for each and every message so now we'll take we had taken this example now i'll explain you how to code this probabilities of this particular messages and then i'll obtain the code word so let us say so what is our first step is we need to place all the messages in descending order so already i had drawn this values so here all the values are in descending order so what is the second step we need to divide these probabilities into two halves such that 
the values the prob sum of the probabilities in the upper part as well as the sum of the probabilities in the lower part should be equal so i'll check after the first message probability so here i was having a value of 16 by 32 and if i had added the other values 4 plus 4 8 8 plus 4 12 12 plus 2 14 14 plus 2 16 so here i was having a partition and i had drawn here so here i had made the upper part as well as lower parts division in such a way that some of the probabilities will be equal so the third step is assign the bit 0 for the upper part and 1 for the lower part so the remaining all the values will be represented by 1 okay so the third step is we need to assign the values if we are having two zeros here we need to assign 0 and 1 again one again but here as it is not there so again i need to check this remaining messages so here if i consider this messages again i need to divide that into two parts such that the again sum of the probability should be equal so here if i had divided here so this is 4 and this values are greater than 4 by 32 so that i'll again check here so it was 4 by 32 plus 4 by 32 it was 8 by 32 and the remaining sum of the probabilities is again equal to 8 by 32 such that my second division is over here so now again i had given the values as 1 and 1 so as these two are sim uh, sorry now i need to give the upper probabilities as zeros and zero and lower probabilities as one in this way so now as i was having similar values i need to divide this and assign the value 0 and 1 here and now coming to the other messages so here i'll have a division here 4 by 32 and some of these uh, values are 4 by 32 and again i need to give 0 0 upper bits 1 lower bits and again i was having similar zeros such that i need to assign 0 to the upper bit and lower bit to 1 so now again i had these messages so 2 by 32 the division over here and this addition is 2 by 32 such that i can give 0 and 0 and here 1 and 1 so again these two words are unique such that again so in that way the total code word for each and every message is given as for the message 1 you are having a code word as 0 for the message 2 you had a code word as 1 double 0 for message 3 1 0 1 for message 4 1 double 0 sorry double 1 double 0 and for message 5 double 1 0 1 for message 6 triple 1 0 for message 7 4 1s and 0 and at the last all five ones so these are the different code words of particular messages if you observe these code words all the code words are unique in nature and it was not equal to any of the other code word this is the first thing we need to check after coding your data so now in order to calculate the efficiency of this particular system the formula for efficiency is given by eta is equal to h by n bar where h is nothing but entropy and n bar is nothing but average length of the code word so the formula for n bar that is average number of bits is given by sigma k is equal to 1 to l p k into n k where p indicates the probability of the message and for that message how many number of bits are required in order to code that data and now the other one is entropy which is given by h the formula for entropy is pk into log base 2 of 1 by pk. So here we know that pk is nothing but the probability of the message. So now I need to calculate what is nk and then what is pk and then I need to solve these two values and substitute in the efficiency. So we will check what is the efficiency of the system. So now for this particular code word I will calculate what is the nk. What is nk here? it was the number of bits represented in an code word for this code word the number of bits are 1 for this code word the number of bits are 3 and again this was 3 4 4 4 5 and 5 so this is your nk value so now i need to calculate the value of n bar 
that is already I had given the formula sigma k is equal to 1 to l where l indicates the length of the messages. So what is the value of l here is l is equal to 8, 8 number of messages. So now my formula will be p1 into n1 plus p2 into n2 so on will be having p8 into n8. So what is the value of p1 here? It was 16 by 32 into 1 plus what is p2 here? It was 4 by 32 into number of bits to represent here is 3. So similar way if you had substituted all these values p8 will be equal to 1 by 32 into 5. So if you had solved these values you will be getting 2.32 bits per code word. Bits per code word. So this is the value of n bar. So now what is the next parameter we need to calculate? We had calculated what is the average number of bits and now we need to calculate the value of entropy. So the formula for entropy is pk into log base 2 of 1 by pk. So now what will be your equation is p1 into log base 2 of 1 by p1 plus p2 into log base 2 of 1 by p2 plus p3 into log base 2 of 1 by p3 so on 1 by p8 into log base 2 of 1 by p8. So this is your formula. If you had substituted the values of P1, P2, all these values in this formula, you will get a value of 2.32 bits per message. So if you had substituted these two values, 2.32 and 2.32, the value of efficiency will be equal to 100 percentage. So this is how we need to calculate the efficiency of the system. So the other parameter is code redundance. So that redundance is given by gamma. So where it was given by 1 minus eta. So what is the value of eta is equal to 1 such that 1 minus 1. So the code redundancy is equal to 0. So this is how Ishan and Fano encoding algorithm is done. Thank you.